Right. Come back, Malaysia. Okay, we spoke about innovation right now. Mm. We're again going into the workforce, actually. Uh, we're right. looking at uh, preparing world-class work workforce. So let's welcome our guests in the studios. Mm -hmm. uh, Inche Zaba Mohamed Zaham, General Manager, Departmental Training Grant, HRDF. Good morning. Good morning, Andy. Thanks for joining us. Right. Thank you. Nice tie. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So the good mm. news is that the World Bank has just ranked Malaysia as the 12th most business-friendly country in the world. Yay! Yay! Okay. <laughs> uh, your you? take on that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's good that uh, we have been ranked as 12. Yeah. As compared to previous year, we have just 18. Mm -hmm. And previous year was 23. Mm. All right. So going so up. So we the have ranks. we have increased in terms of the rank itself, uh, and we want to be at most likely top 10 next year, mm -hmm. hopefully. But uh, looking into that, uh, we are in the global area, in the global economic area. So the ability to attract foreign investment is mm. critical, whereby it's increased the, the, the cash flow of uh, our country and also it impact on the overall economy of Malaysia. Right. Mm. But uh, it's also affect us in terms of the workforce, mm. which who generate the, the, those who want to be involved in this organization or want to do business in Malaysia. So employees have the skill, has to have the skills so that they will master and build asset of the organizations. That's right. So that's why they bring back again into the benefit of the business. So more more investors will be coming into Malaysia. Okay. Hopefully. Well, you you mentioned uh, in your you know earlier uh, statement you said if we need to prepare world class uh, workforce, which is very true. If you do want to go up in the ranks and if mm. you're targeting that tenth place, uh, but to do this is what is what is the initiatives by HRDF uh, for maybe SME businesses? Okay. Uh, we know that SMEs only. Uh, it's a big in Malaysia. That's they right. comprise us about 99.2% mm -hmm. of establishments mm -hmm. in Malaysia. But their GDP or uh, gross domestic uh, product uh, contributions to Malaysia is only about 32% or 33%. Right. Mm. So they still compare, uh, it's small as, as compared to their uh, big numbers of majority. Mm. So in doing so, we are saying that uh, the, the HRDF uh, or the government per se has so switched that the increase of intensifying the human capital development of Malaysian workforce mm. in order for them to uh, ensure that the SMEs will be able to go, glo go global and be international. Mm -hmm. So in doing that, uh, we are saying that uh, the HRDF has been entrusted by the government mm -hmm. yep. to establish what they call National Human Resource Centres right. mm. or NHRCs. Mm. Yep. So the NHRC is uh, again uh, being the backbone of supposed to be the HR department of the SMEs in helping the SMEs in doing their daily activities in especially in HR <coughs> related matters. That's right. Yeah. So I think uh, HRDF as well as uh, all the human resource uh, departments mm -hmm. uh, they they, uh, they are entrusted to to actually start with uh, to actually continuous to do continuous retraining and uh, skills upgrading, right? Yeah. Uh, how why do you think these two things are really important? Well, uh, the retraining and skill upgrading is the uh, core, core activity of HRDF. Mm. We have been established uh, by the Act to encourage employers in retrain and upgrade the skill of workforce. Right. So the employers currently that covers under the HRDF uh, are two, mm -hmm. mainly the manufacturing and services sectors. Mm -hmm. And these many uh, manufacturing and services sectors uh, need to have contribute to the fund. Right. Uh, that has been uh, imposed under the Act. Mm -hmm. And they can use the money that they have contributed earlier mm -hmm. so that they will be trained and upgrade the skill of the workforce. Oh. In doing so, uh, the, the ability of the employers in, in uh, keeping, keeping up the technology change, in ensuring that they will be always having innovation that right. we have just spoken earlier <laughs> in the, right. the speaking. Yeah. Yeah. So in, 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 in encouraging the employers retrain and upgrade the skill of workforce and also at the end the employees will be benefit from mm. this they have been capable they, they have the skill they have the knowledge in doing the whatever the job that they've been entrusted to do so mm. Mm. it's in return uh, 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 we when we what we call a uh, uh, like a win-win situation. Win-win situation yep. between the employer go. and employees. And yeah. it's a continuous effort, right? It's continuous it's never effort. ending. La. Yes. <laughs> and uh, again, uh, when, when the employer send their employees for training, yeah. uh, they will get financial assistance from the HRDF, ah, yeah. which has been uh, the, which the money they have contributed earlier in the fund. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, when we look about uh, training and, and, and skills building, 
Uh, besides these two, what are the other areas for employers themselves, uh, if they want to lift up their business or they want to increase their business, what, what are those areas that they need to? Mm. The, the trend now is, of course, the innovations, mm -hmm. uh, creativity okay. and innovations. And, and another one that I will talk about is on the uh, research and development, right. okay. where R&D plays a big role for mm -hmm. SMEs mm -hmm. or even the big players mm -hmm. in terms of getting new products, getting new innovations mm. uh, uh, to get new markets areas. So that would be the areas of employers need to venture in. Right. So it will be uh, uh, what you call good in innovation and mm. practice for the SMEs to be yep. part of the art, involved in the R&D and also be part of the uh, innovation activities. Right. I'm just wondering though, uh, does HRDF also uh, try to train these employees uh, in terms of building up their soft skills you know, in terms of how they interact with yeah, other people. I think that, that's yeah. one thing that's lacking in the industry at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, we, we understand that uh, there's some uh, report says that some of the graduates that have been uh, yeah. produced by yeah. our universities. They are book they, smart. They are book smart, <laughs> but they are unable to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> so when they venture into the workforce, yeah. um, the employer who, who employ them uh, can do the soft skill elements. Uh, the communication, the interaction between uh, right. uh, ne negotiation yep. skills, those are the soft skills that need to be built up and so that there will yeah. be always, there will be always uh, mm -hmm. a good in, in a relationship between the employee and the employee. Yep. Yep. In doing so, uh, that also being the asset of the employee, being able to be uh, having the, those self soft skills so that will be when they have a uh, new opportunity into a new employer, for example, that would be good business for them. Mm. Mm. And, and then, um, like, I mean, the statistics says we are, we are business friendly. We don't necessarily have to be people friendly. Yeah. But it's an interesting way of developing uh, the characteristics of the person. Because yeah. when you talk about uh, customer friendly uh, services or even service providers, mm. that's the main core of your business, isn't it? They, yes. For service providers, having a client and especially a staff who's able to interact with the client, that's, mm -hmm. that's it. That's where they build that relationship yeah but basically uh, that that is where the business starts from that's right the soft skill element and again uh, when when the employer says this is the need of the employee the employees to be trained on the soft area soft skill area we we as HRDF provide those elements mm. in terms of financial assistance right giving them uh, know-how giving them uh, ability to uh, finance in terms mm. of cost incurred for them to be trained and up, uplift the scale of capability of their own employees. Right. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that over the years we have managed to go up the ranks, uh, you know, from number 18 to number 12, and then uh, what do you think are the contributing factors, right, of us of us improving over the years, yep. and um, what else can we do to further achieve into the top 10 okay. list? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very tough thing to do, yeah. but we can sure do it, Malaysia, sure. Bole, yeah. for yeah. example. Yeah. Uh, of course, the government has a lot of things implemented to ensure that we are capable of doing that. Mm. In terms of, uh, we have established the Pemuda mm. to ensure that, the, uh, for example, the registration has been uh, reduced from 60, uh, 64 days to 18 days. Mm. Those elements of uh, reducing the uh, or doing, uh, making it simple for employers to uh, do their business. Right. So, in part of the HRDF also, we mm. are saying that the NHLC, where they establish uh, the human resource, uh, uh, the National Human Resource Centers yes. will help the employees in terms of the HR, HR functions. Mm. For example, the NHLC has uh, three levels of services. Mm. For level one, uh, they are offering uh, static information, which means they're, they're using it through the webs. Mm -hmm. Everything is through the webs. Yep. For example, uh, FAQs, mm. uh, information, templates, all will be ha ha having in the, our HRD portal. Okay. Okay. For example, if the employer having difficulty in terms of um, issuing a termination letter, for example, or okay. even issuing an offer letter for any employees. Mm. Those information are already available in the webs right. for the employees to, to use. Ah. So that simplifying process right. has been improved the, mm -hmm. the, pro, uh, yep. the ranking yep. earlier. So. so the portal becomes like a point of reference for mm. both the employees and the employees, the right? employees. Oh, So you have really the uh, HRDF helping the NHRC for the SME. Uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> a whole lot of, whole lot of capitals there. But, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. the question is, are the SMEs taking advantage of this mm -hmm. uh, to better their businesses? Do you see that uh, as a you know a change in in the uh, industry? 
Uh, we are saying that there are a lot of things need to be done uh, okay. in terms of promotion because some employers, uh, the SMEs, still lack in terms of uh, knowledge for the offer that the government has yep. given them. Mm. So this is one way of doing that, uh, mm. in, ensuring that they will know what are the, the SMEs have to offer, especially right. the national seas. And in terms of um, uh, promotion-wise, mm -hmm. um, uh, SMEs need to do more. That's right. mm -hmm. uh, we have more, but they have to they do have their to do own. More. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They've got to uh, probably step up and and, and, and do know, this. Yeah, yeah come yeah. forward and do a little bit, bit more. Well, mm -hmm. uh, before we let you off, Inchisaba, what is that one last advice you can give uh, probably the uh, SMEs out there? Yeah, and um, also to the employers yeah. and, and to the employees. employees. Yeah. Okay. What, what would it be? Uh, okay, uh, for those employers, uh, especially those SMEs, uh, if you want to know more about the NHLCs, if you want to have uh, uh, your HR problem solved, mm. uh, you can always go to our uh, call centre at 1 800 884 800 mm -hmm. yep. or our uh, homepage uh, hrdf.com.my yep. uh, or the nhc.com.my. Uh, .my. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. So there you go. That was Encik Zaba Mohamed Zaham, General Manager of Department of Training Grant, HRDF. And if, uh, as you mentioned, if you want to know more, uh, what HRDF has in store for you as an SME, please do go into their website because that would be, you would definitely be getting a lot yes. of information there. Uh, Inche Zabba, thank I, you so much. Thank you so much for coming thank on you. board and joining yeah. us yes. this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely information, and we wish you all the best. I'm quite That's sure right. that you know more SMEs will be Hopefully, coming yes. forward to yeah. build up yeah. their businesses. Thanks. Thank See you, top ten, huh? No pressure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> all right. So moving on, we uh, we are to going to focus about money, and you know some people have this mindset that money is like oh you cannot talk about money. It's money, money, right. money. Well, okay. we have uh, Irfan Khairi, our financial motivator, That's in right. the house. The money man. About that. So, but after this short break, so. We'll be right See you back. in a bit.